Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on spaceship Earth. Heading down to town, supply run. Figured I would check in with y'all and uh, see how it's going, dude. So, um, we're here, dude. I haven't been able to do many live streams. I've been uh, super busy. Just trying to uh, maintain maintain my lane, if you know what I mean. Staying out, of, staying out of the bunny holes, though. You know, I know, I see them. I see the bunny holes. I'm just staying out of the bunny holes. That's the that's the, uh, that's the gig. I got to make some of these T-shirts here, man. The uh, 2024 T-shirts, dual design. I should just do a pre-order. That'll force my hand. That will force my hand, won't it? But um, it's been it's it's been interesting, man. Don't fall asleep. Don't go back into the matrix. Whatever you do, don't go back into the matrix. Don't fall asleep, dude. The uh, the fear conspiracy thousand X has been pretty comical lately. I like the uh, I like the whole nuclear weapons from space it's nuclear weapons from space <laughs> just just take two bs scenarios and and weld them together into uh into one right yeah dude no thanks man i ain't tripping i ain't tripping on either one of those those potentials dude so yeah it's 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 a comedy i didn't i didn't pay any attention to the sports ball event uh, although dude kanye has has pulled me in because he he's like my favorite psyop dude kanye does kanye does entertain man i i will tell you dude, that dude whether you love him or hate him dude that dude is quite quite the performance artist get wet y'all or yay, I forgot it's yay. It's not Kanye, it's just yay. But uh yeah, he's he's been pretty entertaining. I uh, I do appreciate that. I'm fired up and going down to Ween down in Del Mar here and and in like 48 hours. That's why I'm doing a supply run today, dude. Gonna go down there. Looks like there's gonna be some surf. So I'm super pumped about that and um I'm gonna go get my, I'm gonna go get my, I'm gonna go get brown, and then I'm gonna try to go get barrel. Probably get, maybe get some brown barrels. Yeah, dude, California style. I don't know, I'm going into like a surfing zone. I used to kind of access a lot when I was younger, dude, but it's been 30 years, dude. How crazy is it to say something like that? Huh. The Kern County Sheriff is giving me a letting me pass, dude. I get to lead the parade, dude. Hmm. Let's see, let's see what's his move. Oh, he's just he's just getting at the back. Do his own thing, dude. It's the beauty of this this road, the 178. Everyone's just super courteous. Even the sheriffs, man. Don't want to hold us back. But um yeah, dude. I, you know, dude. They, they've been, they've been trying to get us, get us to, get us to pay attention to the rabbit holes, and no, no, and I've been, I've been listening to the, uh, the opium distributors. Just like we gotta, we gotta vote, get out and vote on this one. I like it's just leave the leave the fe leave out of the federal one, dude. In California here, dude, I got to I I voted for Steve Garvey. If you don't know who Steve Garvey is, you're you're not from my generation, dude. That was that was strictly a a vote from Topps baseball cards, dude. <laughs> Steve Garvey, dude. That guy is probably as 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 bacon as a snake in a lake, dude. But anyway, so uh. So we got this, uh, it's funny, like, I don't even like, I, I could get all into the rant, maybe I'll get there, dude. But um, we got this new baby hawk that's hanging out, or, or juvenile hawk, I don't know what a juvenile hawk's called, but if there's this new juvenile hawk 
that's hanging out back behind our fire on the fence by our pool, dude. And he's been pretty regular. And and we're super psyched that he's like, you know, decided to, to make his home back there. You know, cause uh, we're down for that, dude. We're down we're down for a for a pet hawk. Who doesn't want to have a uh, a friendly hawk in the backyard? Definitely not our pigeons. <laughs> Oh, dude, definitely not our pigeons. But, dude, I uh, if I have to balance them out, I, I'm definitely more down for hawk than pigeon, I think. I think uh, the hawk's way cooler than the pigeons. I do, I do like the pigeons. But uh, they have to have some more babies so we can let them fly around to feed the hawk. <laughs> Everyone should get homing pigeons to feed their local hawk. But uh, I, I, that's on the, the comedy of the farm cycle. The cows are doing awesome. I've been, as you saw the string in the barbed wire video, dude. I, I actually, one of the things that I got, I got, I'm short six sheets of, uh, six pieces of, of roofing shingles from Maverick's doghouse. I finally just got busy on that thing this week. And uh, I call it, I call it, his dog aminium dude i made him a dog aminium dude i think the final the final touch though is i'm gonna frame a picture of 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 owl and put owl and frame it and put it inside his dog amin dog aminium so that it's just just for comedy because I, I had to climb in there and, and screw some things and i was looking in there i was like oh dude you, you gotta have a little frame picture of your of your dude man so I think that's going to be the classic insider's touch, dude. But, um, so yeah, just, you know, it's the constant battle to try to find the, uh, find the balance, man. Try to find the balance. It's, uh, you know, we got this whole different lifestyle going on right now. We have this live on, live on client at our place, dude. So that's that's kind of consuming a lot of like time more so than we thought it's just sort of this people time i don't know how to explain it like just like a person is definitely at like that's there 24 7 is definitely a different job than a person that's that that you go you go punch the clock with dude so, so we got that going on. We're, we're slowly figuring out the balance, dude, of the, of the kind of the new deal we're doing. Not sure if this, this person's the right fit for what we're doing, dude, because we are like a small farm life. And then uh, I've been having our pastor as a graphic artist, so I got him making up the new Talons Out Ranch logo, dude. It's pretty sick, dude. So that's, that's cool. And, uh, I think my, my wife's getting all coordinated for like, you know, we're gonna start making a, a, a nut mix line, a line of nut mix, you know, organic, all healthy type of deal, dude. Cause uh, she's been, she rolls with her little jars full of nuts. And uh, there's a new dude who's back in town who opened up this like super nice gym. And uh, he's all fired up. He's like, you should like, be selling those in containers for my clients and she's like yeah so that's what kind of got, like jump started us into I mean we need a logo to put on the jar dude so we're, we're it's it's incrementalism dude I, like it's funny I, I've been definitely trying to, to understand in like the incrementalism of, of what we're doing dude Cause you know, we're almost, dude, we're almost up here two years and it is a radical change. It was funny, not that long ago, the, uh, our postal delivery person, cause sometimes it's a guy, sometimes it's a gal, sometimes it's them together. Cause they roll, I guess, I guess they're independent contractors. They roll in a civilian car, but our postal people came by and you know, I took care of them this, this don't you guys take care of your postal person right like a little Christmas little Christmas gratuity because uh, we did which 
fully made them like they were like whoa dude that's super cool of you so anyway we got way more talk in there and they came by and they were like you know what man you know they've been delivering our mail there for like a year two years now they're like man we really like noticed how much like work you're putting into this place and it's it start, it's really starting to show and uh you know self can't see self from self right is is one of the the uh the hard things about being a a spiritual being in this human reality is self can't reveal self to self so it was nice to hear that that we're we're moving forward and and because it's a bit like we're, we're about to have like our first batch of baby goats that's pretty exciting hopefully i'll catch all of that on film for you dude but i i i'm my wife th seems to be think it's going to be more intense than I do. I'm up for like, like they're just going to do what they do. It's not going to be a big deal. They're just going to have some baby goats. But uh, you know, I got, I got, I got. My wife is the nurturer, right? She's a mom, so I got, I got to play in that role, but also be like, I got, I got my box of gloves in case I got to get in there and do whatever you're, whatever you do. I did 4-H when I was a kid, so I birthed, I used to birth a bunch of sheep and stuff, dude. So I, I'm not tripping on it. It's kind of exciting, dude. I don't know when, but soon, maybe, who knows. They're getting, the, the goats are big, dude. And I think the goats are, like each one's on a different, like pregnant by months apart, so that's good. So we got that going on. The chickens are all good. And um, yeah, so so on to the thing. Don't don't fall asleep right now. I, I've noticed like this this there's no days off. There's absolutely no days off in this in this lower dimensional reality. And it's not about whether you play or have a good time or not. That's not what I mean about like a day off. It's like you got to maintain your spiritual fitness constantly and and when we don't I've noticed like the swing of being spiritually unfit is definitely way more pronounced than it used to be like like there was a big like I don't know if you guys caught it but like about a week ago there seemed to be just a lot of like global spiritual unfitness you know and then on the local level everybody was just like seemed like they were just going through a tough time and you know so it's like that thing is like just don't drop your guard we all just got like like a little bit seasonal our seasonal flu or whatever here so you know it's that and then you know they're just pumping out their their electromagnetic fear porn, dude. Thousand X that, dude. Just get a, th why don't you buy a thousand? If you really like are worried about the end, you should thousand X some of my t-shirts. Just keep me busy, dude. Thousand X that t-shirt sales, dude. Just big donation, dude. Big donation for the cause, dude. Man, man. Crypto, booming, dude. Bitcoin, past 53. Should have gotten in at 16, dude. <laughs> Thousand X that, yo. So, it's funny. I've been just watching just how people are just so, have so bought in to the, the two narratives and just can't seem to like find the middle path. I had someone ask me the other day, is there like a middle path? I go, yeah, it's called being like like conscious and fully awake with God because then you're fearless, right? Like the, the lack of fear keeps you from being polarized, right? Like when you're afraid, it's easy to get polarized. Dude. It's, ah, something's got to save me. And it's pretty fascinating watching everybody just... I have to say, like, I've been on, on rabbit holes, right? I've been fully in, I'm like a political wonk, right? I'm fascinated by it. I'm a cultural wonk. I'm fascinated by it. I love watching what what the swirl of culture and propaganda and, 
and fake ass politicians and puppets and puppet masters are up to. Like I fully like, you know, I smoke a, I smoke a little of that, dude. Keeps keeps my my thing going. But I gotta say on this one, the 2024, the my least interested ever, dude. Like least interested ever. Like I don't. I so really don't care. Which is weird because I'm watching all the people that should know better getting all like amped about it and I'm like dude what's it gonna do like start today I, I tell you, I've made a pod stream about this like whatever you're preparing for like whatever you think's gonna happen whatever you're waiting for just start today dude so there's like there's like two outcomes right either either the dude who's gonna save us all or it could be a woman for that matter is gonna save us all on the lower dimensional plane i'm talking about god and jesus and all that stuff dude like if you know you know dude. if you don't you should find out but that's for you to do and uh so everybody's all like and like so okay so if you think that the the one dude's gonna like save you then 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 start like living like that now. Like start doing that now, right now. Just go in and live like that. Like, oh, it's gonna get a go and fix the border and stop the wars and turn the economy around. And, and I'm gonna wait for that and then I'm gonna do nothing when that happens, right? Cause that's the human, because tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is just a, the biggest like, con job ever right start today okay if you if you're hoping the dude's gonna win and you think he's gonna win start acting accordingly now and if you think the dude's gonna lose and the, the clamp down's coming and they're gonna sink the economy and blah, war war they're gonna draft our children well start start getting ready now today so whatever the outcome is start today and and when you get to that point, you'll realize that that's the one place they don't want you to be is right here, right now. The old Ram, Ram Das, right? Be here now, dude. Like, right? There's one who has all power. That one is God. May you find him now, dude. It's all about the nowness, right? So what they've got everybody doing is smoking. Some magical thing's going to happen in November, and that's going to determine our fate. Who cares, dude? Determine your fate right now, dude. I'm not I'm not rolling down here in the town based upon either scenarios. I'm like, dude, I gotta go get some supplies, some fence posts, some some socks, you know, whatever I gotta do so I can leave home during the rainstorm and go go paint the town brown with, with ween and go surfing. And all that, and and, leave, and and have it all set up so my wife and our client can just have it all streamlined, you know, and take care of all of our animals and, and this and that. And it's just the whole thing. Like, right, when you got that thing, like, I look out, like, so I, I that's the thing. Like, I started a couple years ago, right? When I got out of town, and, and yeah, it's, I'm, you, you don't need to be out of town. I'd highly advise moving yourself out of town by starting now with the mental pro program. I remember talking to my buddy a while back and I was like, look, man, like the world, res the universe responds and God responds to your intent. Your intent determines what's going to happen in the next moment or the, they call it the future. So start putting it out there and moving in that direction like look when i started the process of getting out of the city and getting onto the land it was just a thought and god just cleared the path and now i got a bunch of cows and goats and a tractor and endless amounts of projects to do and and you know the whole thing dude got a client up there you know, so, and we got a little, our little LLC, dude, we're about to make a line of nuts, yo. 
I got, you know, we, I got some t-shirts. What I'm getting at is, is whatever you think's coming down the pipes tomorrow, stop being afraid of it and start building the new reality. Because I'll tell you, dude, the concept of, of the people, by the people, for the people of the United States of America, based upon the, the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, dude, is very clear, dude. It's up to you. So if you haven't elected yourself the president of your own reality, dude, who have you elected, dude? Some other weird entity, dude? Because God gave you the power, dude. And again, that's for you to find out what I'm really talking about. But God already empowered you, dude. So so that's the trick. Yeah, don't no need to go like searching bunny holes for answers, dude. The answer's right in front of you. Elect yourself president of this reality, dude. And when you do that, you have to approach that position without fear, dude. And yeah, it could get down and dirty. It could get really like magically flashing rainbow crystalline light, dude. You know what I mean? So it's it really is up to you to, to choose yourself to be the leader of your reality with your God-given truth. So that's where I'm at with it, man. I, that's what I mean. Like when you really like see it, like it, it doesn't matter who it is anymore. Like we're way past all that. Look, dude, I'm going to let you in a little secret, dude. America's already been conquered, yo. Just hate to say it, dude. Look at, just look around. Look at your, look at your fellow crew members on spaceship earth. Do they seem like they're unconquered? Like, just look around. Just look at these fools, dude. They are conquered, bro. This is a conquered society. Yeah, there might not be a bunch of, like, Chinese dudes walking around with Kalashnikovs, dude. Or whatever they walk around with. And their, and their boots and stuff. But look at these people. They are just as broken, lazy overweight shot out mask i just looking at some chick wearing a mask right now dude by herself sitting under a tree dude like that's conquered baby so anyway dude start doing it now dude whatever whatever your trip is start now start today take one step it's like that dude there's so someone on our channel like one of the tribe who was like overweight dude and he and he just got off the couch and started walking dude and i think you lost a bunch of weight dude that's how it, it you gotta start somewhere dude i'm telling myself this too dude i forget constantly dude i'm always taking giant steps backwards dude but i'll tell you what i'm rowing i am rowing away from the sinking ship dude you're no amount of convincing is going to get me to climb back on it and like find a seat Listen to the music, dude. It is sinking. It hit the iceberg, dude. Row, baby, row. Anyway, it's the illusion signing off. I'm in the grid, so I better, like, folks, can't you tell? Like, I'm in the grid, dude. <laughs> All right, links down below. Use the name tags. Be kind. And, uh, yeah, man, tip your talker. Peace.